Like this? Yeah, one more time. Fucking shit. Sure. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just threw up in my mouth. Is the audio on yet? Oh, what man. is up? Welcome to episode three of The Recipe. I'm Joshua Scott. With me as always, Mona Lisa. We do want to give a big thanks to Mark with it behind the lens. You the man, bro. Gotta shout out everybody. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Who are you gonna shout out? No, Better man. not be my fucking mom. Josh is the one typically running the helm, so he's doing three different wings, style wings. I'm doing a style of wings. I'm doing two. Only two? Yeah, bro. What fuck the man. fuck, bro? You, you really don't want to be on this show anymore. Out here, dude. What kind of wings are you doing? Uh, I am gonna do some Thai sticky wings. I'm gonna do that up. Who's that on that box? Who is that? And why are they called stickies? Cause they're stickies. Stigmata, Stigmata. DJ Stigmata, thank you very much. Came and dropped off a couple things for me, and I am putting them to use today. There you go. Right. This evening. There you go. Shout out, fun. shout out Dion's too. No free promo. Are we uh, taking a shot? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what kind of wings you make? Uh, well, I can't like those and then lemon peppers. Oh, the lemon peppers? Yeah. I'm making lemon pepper wings with a lemon pepper sauce. Ooh, but you're just what? like wingless wings, right? They're chicken nuggets. Wings? He's making chicken nuggets tonight, guys. You guys fucking done. Do you prefer okay? boneless <laughs> wings opposed to? Uh, no, I like I like bone in. I, I, I like guess, bone in I too. Like, you guys don't always make things nasty. <laughs> this is perfect too because football season. Y'all want something easy to make for your friends. Have a little gathering, kind of still in the quarantine. Yeah, but you can still have like 13 people at your crib, I think. We're way too close right now. If you guys can kind of give me some space. Hey, uh, But uh, during COVID season, I roll my own joints. That's a good excuse for him to fucking be selfish. <laughs> Fuck it, it's his weed. I'll smoke this shit. These are some gangster ass shots, bro. Yeah, these All are right. fucking huge, dude. They're huge. Look at this one, bro. Oh, well, I'm right. Look at that yeah, one. bro. Sheesh. Cheers, bottoms Look up. Let's yeah, say your Fuck bottoms you. always up. And all the basic bitches need to take notes on this shit because uh, we don't want some like sloppy box mac and cheese for fucking football <laughs> games, bro. Thank you for asking. I'm making a spicy Korean wings. Nobody asked. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that. How do you know That's why I segued into that shit. So, <clears throat> more about me. So, anyway, uh, um, I am your host, Joe Speaks. Joe Speaks. Uh, with me as always. Adam, Man, and then this uh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, hey. oh, I didn't even take this shit. Did you take this? No, I didn't. Josh is fucking selfish. I thought we cheers. Mm -mm. You guys just do everything without me. Keep on getting asked. Asked. I thought you. See, I keep on getting questioned about being a vegetarian. Guys, I'm not a fucking vegetarian. <laughs> I just don't eat meat. And you know what's more <laughs> fucked up? Sexually or? People, people, people always say that vegetarians are the most fucking judgmental, critical people. Still, no, it's still. the people who actually eat meat <laughs> regularly and then you tell them I'm vegetarian or I don't eat meat and then they see what you eat and they're like, oh meat? bro, what? <laughs> people stop inviting you to, to cookouts and all kinds of weird yeah. shit because they don't know what to make for you. It's like, you can still invite me. Guys. Like. I like nectarines. Hey, don't yeah. forget about your vegetarian friends. Yeah, just okay. separate. What the fuck are you talking to? Separate or <laughs> <laughs> You got a gang of vegetarian friends. All my friends are vegetarian. I'm friends. 
true. Okay. <laughs> true. I got this squash for my neighbor. Oh, her exactly, whole fucking, bro. Her whole yard is like, it's like Jurassic Park back there. She has fucking elephant ears like this big. It's and just fucking all kinds of crazy shit growing up. It's back. so big, if it was a dick, it'd be called a Richard. <laughs> you fucking. You guys want to do this? Fuck it, yeah. yeah do no. it. Is there anything special that you want to let us know about how you make these? No, so all you got to do about these, so this is very simple. Wash your chicken, wash it, okay? Wash it good. Wash your shit. Wash it and wash it good, shirt. okay? But did you wash it and then wash your hands after? Well, yeah. Oh, okay. What? I don't know. What? That just sounded You just Anyways. always look dirty. <laughs> I am dirty. <laughs> but yeah, just simple as this. Boom. Wash that shit. Wash it good. And uh, just throw it right in the, in the grease, man. Hey, so how do you say Worcestershire sauce? No, Isn't it Worcestershire. No, it's Worcestershire. It's Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah. Worcestershire. Like New Hampshire. Worcestershire. What I do think you say? Uh, Worcestershire. I have no. I just said it, but I was wrong. You did. <laughs> Josh always looks like he stinks, but he does. He smells pretty good. I smell good. good. Ha ha! Ooh. I love you, Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just let that go. Who says big? Does that bug you guys when you, people say big? Like, hey, just put it in big. Yeah, because I, I say it wrong. I say it wrong. I say it wrong. So I, can, I, I can't jump. I'm not gonna say it. I don't like. I, hear it, I hate saying that say word. It. Speak. <laughs> Spur talk. <laughs> My mom does talk like that. No, it's spur. No, it's or did she say eleven? Say seven. Seven. Like eleven. Eleven. You know what I hate when people say. Oh, we landed up going over there. Oh, that's like a. I just hate. I have a pet peeve for like just the way very we bad the way we say shit you. around here. Yeah, yeah, bro. Or this one, this one. I hate pride. I took it. I took him a bath. Oh what? I Who heard the that fuck one? says no? I heard that one. Oh, I took it a bath. They'll I, talk about their cars and shit. You're just oh, dyslexic. I'm, I'm not fucking dyslexic. I'm <laughs> not, not you. Dyslexia is not funny. It's not a joke. It's okay. a serious it's mental a serious health condition. Issue. And yeah, yeah. Sorry. Dyslexia is when you're depressed. You see things backwards. No, when you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Dyslexia is a real thing, you know. <laughs> Don't believe the myth that it's, that the rumors that it's false and that it's that it's a conspiracy. Theory. ADD is it's not real. ADD is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> except, for, except for Josh, he can't act very well. I, just, I know. I can't keep concentration. Dude, this is different. Hey, you guys are okay. We're having a show though. Come on in here, Mark. How you doing, bud? Check this out. That's weird, bro. This is fake eggs. Do they call them eggs? <laughs> Stop! What? It's the fake eggs. I don't want to do so much editing. <laughs> so what's the word? Oh, hey. Rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen, man. We lost a real one right there. You know what I mean? What are you doing, Adam? Are you uh, mixing up a... Uh... Some fake egg? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Help me. Did you read the instructions? No. It's like, it's always it's... read the instructions. You know what I did, but I fucking ignored them, alright? <laughs> it's my dyslexia! That's <laughs> just because I'm depressed! <laughs> my depression makes me not read right! <laughs> That's not funny, we need to get off of that subject. Okay. That got dark. Yeah, that got real bad, real fast. Josh gave me a recipe for some Korean barbecue meat. And instead of the sriracha, I switched it with red chili. And if you're unfamiliar with red chili from New Mexico, or if you've never been in New Mexico, you have red chili. shit, bro. That's not our fucking Please. responsibility. <laughs> I feel like teriyaki. The flavor of teriyaki and red chili go together, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm, like, well, you said that on one of our first episodes, is that that you had beef jerky, beef jerky yeah. that had the teriyaki and the red chili and, and just the... Yes. What? I was just slipping, I was going to say the name of the guy. But you never did. What's his name? No free <laughs> promo! I remember, but I also remember no free promo. But nonetheless, uh, red, before really, a red chili... I forgot, guys. <laughs> Bros before host. Red chili brings like a really deep heat. Uh, and uh, I just decided to switch it up. We had that in the house. I decided to use that inside the instead of the sriracha. The sriracha sometimes fucks up my stomach. I figured I'd try some other shit. And it was great. It's it's amazing. Exactly. I, can't, I can't wait exactly. to show you guys. Yeah. We had uh, made wings one night at separate houses. And Adam made his type. Josh made his rendition. I made my own type of wings. But 
I want it so bad to like reach in the phone and try the other wings too. You know what I mean? Because you get your one type, but I'm the, I'm the type of person that likes to switch it up where you get a few different flavors, a few different things, kind of break up the monotony of the plate. Uh, I ain't even gonna lie, even when we did that, those uh, chicken nuggets look so good, bro. <laughs> we were on a phone call and, uh, and basically, uh, uh, Josh was telling me I'm, I might be overreacting to people giving me the blue thumbs up reaction to uh, to my to my music, but I don't think so. I think that that's a that's something that I know I look crazy and a lot of people reacted the same way by saying that I'm seeking fake validation and all this shit. It's not about validation. I'm really posting my music to share with you guys. I put a lot into it and I've been doing this for a long time. I don't need no validation. I love my music. I think it's amazing. I'm just doing it to share it with you guys. But my problem with it is that I know that when I see a lot of people in public, they come up, the same people who either are reacting to it or giving me the blue thumbs up and then going and giving the heart to everything that's sub part of mine. I get it because of where things are with, with social media, but it just irks me that you can put some bullshit up and you get so much engagement, but you put up your, your life's efforts and get like mediocre reactions. It's just, but you, but then you run into these people in public and they gas you. Oh, you're oh, the best, oh, you, you, you're the best in the city. I don't know why you guys ain't pop, da, 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 all this extra shit. And, the, and most of them are the same people that didn't react that didn't share, that didn't comment, that didn't hit me. But those also be the same motherfuckers you see actually love reacting to other shit. Like you, so you know they're not just just laz lazily. If that's word, lazily. I just, I'm, I'm, I just, I'm get tired of the crab in a bucket mentality. We're doing everything we can to evolve people that we believe are talented, the best people in the city that, that do what they do. We're trying to involve them because they deserve it. You know what I'm saying? So what does it hurt just to give an extra little slide to the fucking right? I'm, I'm not saying it hurts my feelings. I can't stress that enough, bro. It's, it's, a, it's a fact that I know that you know the difference and you're doing it. And especially whenever people are telling me, I think they do it more because you said it bothers you. Well, that's even on some bitch shit too, because it's like, bro, if, especially if you're really my friend and you know something bothers me, why would you do it? All this dumb shit that we post, we get mad fucking reactions to it. And then right. when it comes to our music, or the show, or the show, or it comes to Sarah, you know what I mean? It's like crickets. And the conclusion is this. We are working our fucking asses off, guys. We're doing everything we can to create a support system to where if we see you moving, we're gonna do what we can to help you guys. We wanna feel the love back, and we not only for our sake, but for everyone that you really think is fire, don't be a fucking hater. It's so easy to be a hater, bro. Just, just don't do it, man. It looks fucking corny. We have normalized being a fucking undercover hater. And don't be that shit, because that, that shit's fucking corny. Let's, let's fucking cancel that shit. One last point I want to make, and, and then we'll call it quits on this whole topic, is that it's not just us. And, I, and you know, it sounds real personal when we speak from it, or me speaking for it, because right. that's what I can speak from, is that it sounds real personal. And it is personal, because that's how I personally feel. But I, feel, I also feel like that happens to a lot of people. A lot of people. And it's not just great, us. Great, amazing. So yeah. when we say that, it's because we're speaking from our experience. But nonetheless, that happens to so many people. We give people the roses now. Because if you wait to give people the roses when they die, that is gonna do nothing. A lot, it seems like a lot of people wait until they're already famous. They're like, oh, I've been following them since yeah. so-and-so. It's like, bro, no, you fucking weren't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, half facts, ass, bro. Yeah, yeah you, facts. You was half that. You, you waited until right. he blew up and it was like, oh, I was always with you. I was always riding with you. What the fuck do you think he's gonna think? Okay, so that being said, you know what I mean? That being said, shout out Edits, shout out Stigmata, shout out Wonder, shout out Everybody. Everybody. Courtney Hampton, Joe Beasy, Buck, uh, uh, God, Buck is, Buck is God Gang, God Gang, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Second Edward, verse, Ringo, Dan K, January, January Black, Black, fucking uh, Dan K, Cali Soul, fucking Wonder, Jasper, Galaxy, everybody. Rick everybody. Pettis, Rick Pettis, fucking A. Rick James. Rick the James. Out there working, man. Drake. Azo. Drake, what's up? Drake. So fuck you, Russ! Just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I mean, it's Sorry. true, but... Shout out all of our city's finest fucking 
artists and creatives that are doing something. It's never too late to pursue your dreams. And your dreams don't have to be the same as your childhood dreams are. I believe that as long as you are moving and you are creating moving parts, there's, there's potential for you to activate players on, on your team in this game called life. And the only way that you activate your players is that if you not only have something to offer, but you're offering it to someone who has something else to offer you. It's, it's a two-way street. That's the only way to fully activate the players on your team. But so long as both people have a lot of moving parts going on, those parts will connect. As long as you're doing, trying your hand in as, as many things as you want, I have a kid, um, I'm a, I'm a, I know I'm a single father, I work a regular nine to five, I make music, I do all this shit, I practically have no time. I was just saying like, I really like, I, I, I was really just saying I really like this girl I'm talking to because she hasn't texted me all fucking day. That's the most <laughs> beautiful thing, man. We, like you gotta, she it, takes a, your it takes a special kind of uh, person to recognize somebody who's trying to live their life and not let social constructs dictate the directions that they move in. That's some serious shit. We needed to get that out there too. Dude, that's and a that's lot of serious shit. That's been, that's been something on, that's just I mean? been going on and it's a very... Not only that, we're not the passionate. only ones that get upset about that. A lot of men also <laughs> think supporting is the same as dick riding. It's like, you ain't dick riding to support. No, like, that's not, what kind of macho shit is that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Toxic masculinity, exactly. That's, that's what exactly that is. What that Toxic is, fucking masculinity. Like, you know, it doesn't make you a bitch because you support. What's the first mm -hmm. thing I said to you when we met? Said, right away. Right away. Big fan. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? the main, main reason that got my fucking attention, bro, is like, you don't get that from a lot of dudes. Just like, Especially from another creator, right. you know what it's I mean? Like, that's like, oh no, I'm the best. No. I'm the best. It's like, yo, you gotta yeah, fucking yeah, cut yeah. that shit. It's human, it's human nature to avoid a threat. I be out there in the Serengeti chasing lions and shit. You, you know don't. Know? Sounds good. Sounds good. good. <laughs> Sound good. <laughs> drama voice. Shout out drama. Shout out drama. Shout out Biz and Jordan Kingston. Yeah, that being said, shout out Dre Greedy, you ugly motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> So where are we at with your wings? I'm almost done frying these up. All right, I'm gonna start getting mine going. I got this little butter sauce over here with, for the sticky wings. Uh, Is that Thai? Let me go ahead and do that. Boom, 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 boom. All with a little butter. Throw it in there. Take off your straw. Stay around. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Shout out Fluky Stokes. This motherfucker's always showing me love. Shout out Masari. I'm gonna keep remembering oh, names on, uh, throughout the Tut. show. Shout, uh, out Tut. Shout out Todd. Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood, um, Mona Lisa, MG3, MG3. Uh, we got a big network, man. We got a we got a lot of amazing people in our life. Even Dre Greed, even though he's ugly as hell. Here's my thing, especially about Albuquerque, only because we can speak from experience, is that if you watch a UFC fight, shout out Chris Brown. Right. No, no, no. But uh, uh. What the fuck was his name? Diego Sanchez. Right. When, when, when he first came out, and you hear a roar, because everybody stood behind New Mexico and Albuquerque. That shit, that roar is extra loud, bro. That shit is an extra rumble. Like, if you go to a Lobo game, it, it's extra when everybody's together. But people don't do that outside of those fucking little rounds, bro. And so, you, once they leave that stadium, it's like, oh, fuck them, fuck them, da da da, all that, da da da, they're from another. But if we all connect this shit, the strength that, that is in this city, it's natural born fighters, bro. Exactly. Bro. The, the whole shit is natural born fighters. That's why everybody, like, even if you don't know how to fight, you kind of know how to fight. We, we've been making, making moves together, and one day we will make babies together. We'll find a way. <laughs> I'm gonna put a baby in you, I'm man. gonna fucking make you pregnant. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm doing the sticky wings first, but this is simple, man. I'll just take this, stuff in the top there, boom. Oh, look at that shit, this is look sexy. sexy. Smell, man. These things are hot too. This boy Stiggs made some hot ass bro, salsa in here, bro. So Can you smell that when it hit the oil? Smell that. Hot. Oh, oh shit! They're gonna fire, dude. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. You're making yours too, huh? No. Oh, you're frying yours? Yeah. He's gotta fucking okay. batter those up. Get to it. Ooh. Batter Ooh. than fall. Batter than fall. No, they're fucking hot. This show's sick. <laughs> this show's sick. Alright, so check this out. 
So now, oh, baby, look at him. Yeah, some of these fucking Fuck. Slow mo. Bro, what know. is that sauce? Is, is that sriracha? Yeah, but he did it with the red chili instead. Oh my god, that looks good as fuck, dog. You are a fucking sexy man. It's like one of the creepiest compliments when somebody's like, oh. Your husband's a lucky man. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Just the way you <laughs> said that, that was. That's, like, that's how it always sells to me. If someone said it just like that, though, it would be so much your worse. Husband oh, said, your, hey, husband's tell your husband's <laughs> a lucky man. Cilantro, <laughs> parsley, and green onion. Ooh, watch, we're about to activate. Zest. Now this shit's about to be. Oh, bro, I'm having so much fun right now. This is the sewing circle or what? No, this is the fucking Italian kitchen, bro. Italian kitchen. Come inside, let me fix you something to eat. Come and fix you something, Daniel. Is that an Italian food? Yeah. Lasagna? Super Italian. Yeah, bro. That is. You never know. <laughs> you never know, bro. He said it's lasagna Italian food. No. What yeah. the fuck is a fucking chalupa, bro? That's not real Mexican. That's Mexican. It's Mexican. Is it Mexican? <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is it? It's a fucking exactly what it is at Taco Bell, bro. I never had one at Taco Bell. Um, is it double decker? No, that's a, that's a, no, that's a double no, decker. That's genius. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, Josh. Okay. The fuck? I got you. You fucking unusual today. Oh, you ate one too? <laughs> How unusual. Those are fucking fire, dude. Those are fucking fire. Those are so, fire. So, how did you make the sauce, though? I made the sauce out of the lemon concentrate juice you can buy in any store. Then I uh, mixed in some pepper, uh, some turmeric, and another ingredient that is very mysterious. <laughs> we got a special guest tonight. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, that's, that's, one. that's the landsman. Oh, is that my shot? Wait. No, that's your other one. See? Salud. It's over there. Hey. hey. Very mysterious. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> yo. You got to start the show saying, yo, I am the burrito king of Albuquerque. I am the burrito king. <laughs> Did you guys hear what Trump said? He said. Oh, I don't ever hear Trump <laughs> say anything. No, no, no. Check oh, his, check his new shit. shit. He said that he isn't gonna release the, the stimulus checks until until he gets reelected. Re yep. He's like, I don't. I'm not even gonna negotiate like it. After he wins the reelection. She asked for so there was there was a a certain amount of money asked for it, and they just gave him half. They were like, okay, well we'll make a generous offer of half of what you're asking for. It's like <laughs> I didn't hear shit you said. I said it though. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The they did. They, did. they heard it. You heard me. You heard it. I'll you go heard it home. here first. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hear it in editing. Hey, my kitchen was so clean before it you guys showed so up. It was so clean. Like, it's fucking perfect. It looked like a fucking music video. Bro. Stop, bro. Don't do that. Hey, dude, our camera guy's about to get fucking fired. <laughs> hey, this is weird over here, bro. Are we really It's kind of weird, dude. This is weird, bro. Because now you're just being the observer. Right over here. We're talking about something. Um, share, reach your what are mind. you going through, bro? <laughs> okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> Talk about that the most, but uh, nothing there. <laughs> bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Other than all the bullshit, fucked up bullshit. shit in my life, I'm doing good. I'm doing all right. If it weren't for everything falling apart, I'd be fine. But we're getting through it together, right? Yeah. yeah. We're, yeah. we're doing so much shit. We're working, we're busy. Some that's, people that's go through this shit alone, bro. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just stay busy, man. That's, that's one thing, you know, if you got a, a solid. I guess, uh, support system. You know, take advantage of that, man, especially in these times. There's nothing wrong with telling people we need to help. Yeah. That's us? Yeah. You just shouted us out? Subliminally? Yeah. Shout out, Mona. Drop Shout out Mona Lisa. Gang. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm chilling. I want to eat it all the time. I'm so hungry, bro. Look at this. 
tell his boyfriend he's a lucky man. <laughs> he told that's some creep shit. I know, that's just weird, bro. He is a lucky man, though. If they say it just like that, though, that's like that. Well, that's, that's just that's how I a hear plus it. Four. <laughs> that's probably not him. He's probably like, excuse me, man. If you have a boyfriend at home, you should let him know how lucky he is. That's some white people shit, though. I think it was a white dude. And it's how white like dudes this. do that it's shit. It's a sub creep. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like... I don't, you're gonna any minority, I don't know any minority that would do that shit. Do what? Yeah, we just tell your husband, husband, tell yeah, your husband he's right. a lucky man. No, that's not like that. <laughs> no, hey, you got a man at home. <laughs> you got you a man at home. Yeah, we just be like, hey, hey bitch, I'm yeah. so hungry. I'm going to LA. No. Or maybe, or maybe I went to LA. Did you go to LA? <laughs> if this episode dropped. Yeah, so how was LA? <laughs> it was gorgeous, bro. <laughs> how was it, dude? <laughs> Where's the chip? Shout out Stigmata again for the sauces. He's got all the sauce. He's a sauce mouse. Hey, shout out to Mateo. Mateo. What's his? Warzone Mateo. Warzone Mateo. Wolfhead tattoo shop. Yeah. Shout out Nate's boy Richard. 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 Nate knows who that is, and Richard does too. Shout out C Note. Oh yeah. D May, my family. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Kobe. We just saw. Saw, How did this happen? We just started giving shout outs. Like, yo, because we're, we're giving out. people their flowers, bro. You guys. This is the one flowers. episode we're doing free like promo. It. I like it. I like it. I like these. Oh shit! Is that cool. the thumbnail? You know what I want to bring back to the show? Six. <laughs> Did you miss it? What? What are you doing? Bring what back? Oh the. Uh, uh, <laughs> Darren, you just choke on something. <laughs> You can't wake with that joke. I can't. I can't do no. it without opening uh, my mouth. I can't wake you with that joke. I can't wake you with that joke. I can't wake you with my mouth closed. You wake like that. It's a muscle memory. <laughs> Why does that become to someone skeeting on my face? Because that's <laughs> what I. Dude, I've watched a lot of porno. Fuck! He searches Tourette's. Did you see the way he said that? Fuck shit! Fuck! I said that on, on the show. God damn it. Oh, what's your fetish? Tourette's. <laughs> 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 but you formulate actual articulate like sentences. My mom makes the best meatloaf on on Sundays. I'm like what, bro? That's not Tourette. <laughs> does she really? Yeah, she really does. Compliment Tourette's like. <laughs> you have a nice day. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> Love your hair. I really appreciate everything you're doing for the community. <laughs> Since you're uh, the certified cook, you want to help me judge those on when they're cooked? Certified. I got my wheat cut. No. Woo. Oh my god. Wrong. Yeah, I you hate meeting like weird. Lots yeah, no more sketchy out. parking lots. Man. <laughs> now you can finally smoke weed. Right? Yeah. How's it feel being a new smoker? <laughs> wow, I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Harvest. Fucking A. Is that a person or like a. Nah, nah he's the homie yeah. from Denver. <laughs> Is that a verb? <laughs> Now it's a smoke shop downtown here in Albuquerque, and man, they got some gas. They got the best in the city, man. Do they? Man. Hell yeah. Huh? They have the best? Huh? The best. Just kidding. They're that high, huh? <laughs> this shit smells like feet. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little bit anxious with the weed, and this one uh, is supposed to kind of get you, wake you up a little bit, and uh, there's no anxiousness to it. So oh, ah! shit. Oh! Hey, Trying to do a commercial for Harvest. What's up, Harvest? These women really running around like, oh no, if he's not six foot tall, I don't want nothing to do with it. Don't even holler about me. You know that's height shaming. I don't see height anything shaming. wrong with that. Uh, yeah, because you fucking six eight. He's abnormally tall. Like not even attractive. <laughs> You're a monster, dude. No chick wants that. You're fucking scary, bro. That's like all I have going for me, bro. Bitches curb me all the fucking time, and then they see me in real life. They're like, "Oh, you're so tall." And what? And you know? So you know what the fuck I do? What? I take it. Of course you do. Cause what the fuck? But if I were to say, "Oh no, she ain't got a fat ass. I don't want it." I'm fucking sexist. Would that be no, sexist? No. That's preference. You already touched it. Damn, bro, for real? Yeah, right. Look at his hands. 
My hands are fucking clean. It's so clean. He doesn't even want to touch himself. <laughs> he has sauce all over his white shirt. Put the fries. In what? Oh. <laughs> Put them in there with them! Do it now! They could take a bath together! <laughs> oh, I got curly together. fries too, I'm excited. Ooh, yeah! Season? Fucking I hope different, not. huh? No, the butt naked. Right not season fries though, right? No, those no, are the butt naked joints. Those are just the curlies. No, because it's... Why don't you like They're the just the short ones? and curly, well, dude. Not with wings, because I, I like like just the plain potato fries, because then it's kind of like clear the palate. You know what I mean? For the next week. If you I don't like how nobody fries. laughed when I called them short and curly. I don't like you. The shitty one. I'll probably laugh there for you. Can I get one of those? <sighs> Can I get one like of those? What the fuck was that? That's you the crowd. Know, That's what the crowd sounds shit. like. <sighs> you're in COVID shit? You give me nervous with your mouth. No, you're around me every day. <laughs> that does make some fucking nasty ass mouth noise. Let's take another shot, boys. Okay, but I'm pouring mine. I'll let Adam pour mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm generous. <laughs> So hot. No, I took a I'm talking about the wings. Spicy Korean barbecue. Can you not touch them though? This, this is my plate. Oh. I just washed my hands for this. <laughs> if it's your plate, why doesn't matter? But uh, sp spicy Korean. Chicken. It's not a, a spicy Korean person. <laughs> this is. Uh, <laughs> spicy Korean barbecue chicken. Sticky Thai wings. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Woo! My guys. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> okay, so this time of year, there's a list of movies I like to watch that are a vibe. Let me just throw that out there. Oh, yeah. Number one, Home Alone. Everyone Woo! shut the fuck up. <laughs> shout out Kevin McAllister. Yeah, shout out Kevin McAllister and his Gucci ass Gucci guy. Dude, he, he has a fly as fucking fit, so. Two, Alf. Three, Eight Crazy Nights, Bad Santa. Uh, Mark I, hope you guys don't, I hope you guys realize Mark is naked behind the camera. Always. No, he just doesn't have pants on. <laughs> Speaking of boneless. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for the ladies in the living room that have to hear a fucking guy shit. There's ladies in the living room? Why the fuck are we in the kitchen? <laughs> we got so many different wings to try. I'm so excited. This is like, tell me you don't want to be here. We're going to take some shots. We're going to take a break. And then you can join us for the, the sit down. See you guys in a minute. Yo. Ooh. This looks so good. Yeah, I'm a little hard. I'm so hard. <laughs> Which one are you gonna try first? No boners at the tables, guys. I kinda wanna try yours, dude. I, I wanna try mine. someone this, else that's not mine, yeah. This is a thicky. That's why. Mm. Dude, that I'm gonna so try good. a fry first. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> Mm. I gotta try yours, dude. The boneless, bro. Yeah, those are mm. good. I already, I already tried them. Dude, this is a vibe right here. I'm gonna try a Stiggy wing. Is this one the Stiggy? This habanero? Yeah, that's the habanero. Mmm. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to... Your lemon one. pepper ones taste like kind of... Almost... Buttery, bro. It's buttery. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Mine too. Let me try the habanero. Not bad. Mmm. 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 That was a good idea, guys. Mmm. -hmm. It's like a good balance to all of them. And it's not as hot as like fresh out the jar. But it still creeps up on you. Mm -hmm. We didn't even take our shots. Yeah. To episode three. Just this is all this crock pot slow to the fucking party. Cheers, guys. Mm. Chase it with the french fry. Let me try these Thai wings. I don't know which are which anymore. You, I oh, can, can kind of habanero. I kind of kept like track of like the colors and what they look like. They're, Josh's are subtly different, but they, they like he said they smell different. Oh, these ones different. Mm. That's a Thai, bro. Mm. And Thai is zingy. Yeah. Mm. Is that this one? It no, burns the habanero. No, this is a habanero. Oh, that's lemon pepper. pepper then. That like burns the back of your throat, but it's also like um, so good, tangy. Um, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I like that Thai. Make sure it's still vinegary. 
you take a look at uh, the caption section under these videos because we put all the recipes for this stuff. Because sometimes we get a little sidetracked and drunk. Secrets don't make friends, so we let y'all know what we're doing over here. Our camera guy just fell. Hold up. Your girls are very... Has a, <laughs> this is a very lucky man. <laughs> Your girls are very lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. It's Holy so good shit. to have so many good wings because a lot of places have shit wings. All of these are so good. So good. I love how crispy it came out, bro. Which ones? Just all of them. They just have a good texture to them. Yep. The fryer makes a difference. I have no problem cleaning the bones of these. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, so instead of he hearing us slap our fucking lips together, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Recipe. This has been amazing. Make sure you press that like button, subscribe, follow us on our platforms. Go check out MonaLisa.com. That's M-X-N-A-L-X-S-A.com. And you'll find all of our music on all streaming platforms. Add us on all social media. Hell yeah, and Joshua Scott at MySpace. I'm still booming. I'm trying to bring it back. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Thank you guys. We out. So what if I'm crazy? Pushing you away. Or someone to replace you. Place. I don't love you no more, fuck the bullshit and the pain You said that you find someone to do the shit I ain't Need to find someone that will do the shit every day Cause I won't learn to